Hello and welcome to the DSP Project, your weekly fix of music production and technology. This week I am reviewing this, the TC Electronic BMC-2. It is a uh, professional DAC and monitor controller all in one. It is, um, if you don't know who TC Electronic are, they are a very reputable company, make some uh, high quality professional audio products. Um, so this little guy here, first of all, let's, uh, let's take a closer look. Okay, looking at the top panel here of the uh, BMC2, we've got uh, some, some input information, so it shows us our SPDIF, ADAT, and TOSLINK inputs. And there we've got an LED to show us if there is a, a connection and if there's any signal coming through on each one of those connections. We've got our input selection here, so we can select between our SPDIF, ADAT, and TOSLINK inputs. We've got a um, we've got some basic lights here to show us the uh, incoming sample rate. We've got a uh, a reference button. The reference bu button's quite cool. You can basically calibrate the system um, to a to a s specific volume. So let's say um, minus 20 dBFS, um, which obviously you'd need some sort of a uh, a calibration device. But you can find the uh, exact level and then save it as a reference a reference level. And so pressing the uh, pressing the reference level basically takes the um, uh, it takes the volume knob out of the equation and takes it back takes you back to an exact uh, reference level of, of volume. So that is uh, really handy for um, if you're if when you're working to have the exact same volume level and then you can really learn what your room and everything sounds like at that exact level because the um, the the frequency range is going to change on what you hear depending on on how loud or quiet it is. So having a reference level is really handy. Um, you've got the um, the alternate here, which uh, is for controlling the volume of the digital output. Uh, we've got a, a dim button here, which works as opposed to like a mute. It just dims the volume, just makes it quieter, which is nice. And then a, a cut a cut button here on the end, which uh, allows us to. It's basically like a mute button. Uh, now down here we can change between stereo or mono, which is great for checking your mixes in stereo mono, or side, which gives us the um, the side, uh, which is like as in mid side or sum and difference. So we can listen to the difference between the left and right channel. Really handy thing to have on the uh, on a button on the front panel. I really like that. Separate volume controller for the the headphones, and that is the front panel. Okay, so on the back panel we have input for the power, we've got a input for our headphones, we've got balanced XLR left and right outputs to go to the monitors, we have a digital SPDIF in, digital SPDIF out, we have our uh, TOS link out, TOS link in, ADAT out and ADAT in. Okay, so I've been try trialing this out on my desk for a while now and uh, I've really enjoyed it. It's a very nice unit to have on, on your desk. Um, the only thing I would maybe would like to improve on it would be cool if you had maybe a second monitor out would be cool if you wanted to have a, a second pair of monitors and possibly an, an analog in would be really really handy um, because you've only got digital sources in um, which kind of makes sense as it's a DAC but as a monitor controller it would be nice if you could just bring, bring some sort of an analog source in and uh, switch b between that as well. The uh, BMC2 currently retails for about £535, um, and it is, um, it's, it's, it's a very good unit, it's very nice. Now, as far as how does the, the DAC sound, um, the, the important part, I first of all, I put it up against my um, UA101 in Edirol, which has got a pretty standard sounding DAC in it, it's kind of just what you'd expect in, in most kind of um, sort of cheaper cheaper audio interfaces and I have to say that the uh, the BMC2 was definitely superior. Um, there was more detail in the uh, in the high end, specifically, is really where it shone. Um, one thing I did notice with all the DACs that I compared it against, though, is it seemed to be quite a bit quieter. Like uh, giving them all the exact same digital input, the when the BMC2 set at um, zero dB, it seemed like it was maybe two dB quieter than all the rest. So. I um, compensated for that, uh, obviously, and made it so that they all were perceivably the same, the same volume before trialing them. Obviously, because if one sounds a little bit louder, it's going to it's going to sound better. 
Um, so yes, against the 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 cheaper the cheaper deck in my um, UA101 at a roll card, it definitely sounded better, more detail in the high end. Um, I am also currently reviewing the Orpheus by um, made by Prism Sound. Uh, if you're familiar with Prism Sound, again, they um, conversion is a a big part of what they do and what they're very well known for. Um, and so the the Orpheus is considerably more expensive, but it is a it's a complete audio interface as well. But I thought it would be a good benchmark to test um, the BMC2 against. Um, listening, comparing the two, listening to sort of quite basic music like just uh, guitar and, and female vocal, um, the, the BMC2 did okay. It held up quite well. Um, the, you, you could still get mo most of the detail. Um, most of the detail was about, uh, similar. Um, the with the the Orpheus kind of still just edging it out, being sounding a, a bit nicer. Um, but then when you put in really, I know this was really um, a full program of like electronic music with lots of drums and, and bass and stuff that the um, the Orpheus sort of le left it for dead. Basically, that was just opened up. It was a lot clearer um, when there was quite a few layers of things going on you could just get the, the detail of everything. Um, to be fair to the BMC2 again the Orpheus is, is quite a lot more more expensive um, but um, just to give you uh, a feel of, of where it is in the market I think it is I think it's probably worth the worth the asking price um, of uh, 535 pounds but it is um, and it is, is it's good enough for most for most applications. Uh, though I would say if you were looking for the the best DAC, um, then this probably isn't it. Um, so yes, I do like it. I think it's great. It's uh, it's so much nicer having something like this on your desk as opposed to a, a full mixer, which is sort of setups I've had in the past where I have like a little mixer just so that I can control the volumes and, and switch things around. Um, I am missing the the having the analog inputs though that that could have made this e even more useful. Um, but yes, as a as just as a, a single set of monitor controller, it is a, it's a very nice DAC. It's a, a a nice monitor controller, and I I do think it's worth the money if you're looking to um, take your conversion sort of up to the next level again. That has been my review of the TC Electronics BMC Dash Two. If you have one of these or have any questions on these, this please head down to the dspproject.com and feel free to leave a comment underneath this video. Um, one uh, one more thing to note is we are still running the the competition to win the launch pad. It is a dedicated controller for Ableton Live. If you're not familiar with it, check out my um, launch pad basics video, which basically explains everything it does out of the box. Really cool product. Big thank you to Novation who have given us this to give away. Really cool guys. Um, if you are looking for a uh, a controller for for live, then this is, in my opinion, definitely one of the one of the best. Um, Yes, I think so. If you want to, oh, that's right. If you do want to win this, head down to the dspproject.com slash win. There's all the details there. Basically, we just redesigned the little three seconds thing at the beginning of the show. Make a cool piece of audio, upload it to our SoundCloud, and this bad boy could be yours. Uh, and one last thing at the moment, I'm doing a big push and asking as kindly and nicely as I can. Uh, if you do enjoy the DSP project, if you can tell your friends, tell grandma, tell your relatives, uh, tell anyone that will listen because I, um, I need to get the, uh, the numbers up to try and get uh, continue doing more cool giveaways and things. So I promise I'll make it worth your while. If you can uh, help spread the word and get the viewership up, um, then it's in the interest of companies to give me more cool stuff to give to you. Um, um, so that would be cool if you could do that. That is probably about all we've got time for this week. I will see you next week.